Hey, this is Nate with Wash Sensei. Just wanted to give you a quick video review, kind of give you a little free attack plan on some things you can do to drive more traffic to your website and beat out your local competition. I like to go over three things, content, citations, and backlinks, and we'll get into what those are. You know, looking at your site, the site's laid out, laid out nice. I like the fact you've got the extra tabs up here for your service pages and things like that. But you do not have much content on this home page. Google really looks for the content. They want to see the search terms and things that people are looking for organically in the content on your page. We recommend about 1,500 words on the home page and about 500 to 750 words on the back service pages. There are other ways to get keywords found on your page, but for Google, having them organically in the content is the fastest and easiest way to start getting ranked. You know, looking at some of the local competition, you know, not a bad site, layout's nice, but he still doesn't have a ton of content on here, just a couple of these paragraphs. Content is the one thing that I see lacking on most of the sites that I look at. You know, the sites look good, and we do that because we want our customers to look at it and think that it looks good. But Google only sees the content. Google doesn't care what your what pictures you have on there. They only care about the words that are typed on there so that they know your site says and is relevant to what the people are searching for. Arifs is a tool that we use to help kind of break down these sites and look at stuff like that. Right now, you're showing up for 20 keywords. Mobile car detailing, Naples, Florida, you're in the 12th position, so you're at the top of the second page. There's 50 people a month that search for that, and you might get one click a month to your site. Those are the type of keywords that I like to find. I call them the generic keywords, you know, like this one down here, auto detailing, Naples, FL. There's 100 people a month that search that keyword, and you're in the 24th position, which is at the top of the third page. But the reason I call them generic keywords is because they say what you do and where you do it. If somebody's looking to get their car detailed and they don't know what company they want to use, that's the type of stuff they're going to type in. It's just generic terms to find what they're looking for because they don't know what company they're trying to find. You know, right here, car detailing, Naples, Florida. 200 searches a month. You're in the 36th position. And all of these little red lines right here means you've actually been falling. So either some of the stuff you've got on your site has kind of fallen off or there's people out there pushing to get ahead of you right now. And well, it's working. You know, this one right here, you actually just dropped 10 spaces on Google. So but these high volume search terms are the ones that I really want to see on your site and get ranked up there on that first page, you know, one, two or three, and really start seeing some traffic coming in. If we go over here and look, Diamond's got 116 keywords. These guys got 95. So we'll go back over here and look at some of the keywords these guys have. You know, car detailing, Naples, Florida. You know, 200 searches a month. They're in the fifth position. They've got 18 people a month coming to their website because of that one search term. Auto detailing, Naples. 100 searches a month. They're in the second position. They're getting 15 visits a month to their site. And that's, that's, like I said, the type of keywords I want to see on the sites so that we can get found and get you bumped up into these top positions where these people are searching. The second thing that I like to talk about are your citations. This right here we call the Google Map Pack. And citations are what help get you there. A lot of times you'll see some ads up here at the top and then it goes right into the Map Pack. A lot of people scroll past the ads and they stop right here in this map pack. If they can find what they're looking for right here, that's all the further they go. So a lot of guys are not even going to see the organic stuff down here. If they find what they want and it's in this map pack section, that's where they're going to click. Well, citations are what help get you there. What a citation is, it's your business name, address, and phone number listed in multiple directories across the internet. Some of the more popular ones, yellowpages.com, Yelp, Better Business Bureau, Merchant Circle. But there's literally hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of them out there. We use a tool called WhiteSpark to check those. Yo, look in here. You've got 27. These guys have 14. And these guys have 25. You know, if you go back and look, none of those people are actually in the map pack right now. 
So these guys probably have a few more than that. But one of the things that we do when we start helping somebody with advertising and marketing, we go in and add about 100 citations as quickly as we can and try to get you bumped up into that map pack as quick as possible and then continue working organically on the site so that you're showing up on the first page and taking that way technically you're taking up two positions on the first page of Google. So that's what we're trying to get. That's where we try to get our customers, our clients, get them up there ranking, get that traffic coming to their site. The third thing we talk about are your backlinks. A backlink is any other website that I go to that I can click on something and it takes me back to your site. Kind of a popularity contest. The more backlinks you have, the more popular Google thinks you are and the more authority they're going to give you. The referring domains action right here, that six is part of this 21. But the referring domains are actually a little bit better because they do actually send you some of the power from their site. But if we look here, you know, these guys are at 21 and 5, not hard to beat out. These guys are at 10 and 15. You know, and some of these, it depends on where their backlinks are coming from. Not all backlinks are created equal. So you do want to keep them relevant to the type of industry that you're in. You know, a backlink from the local hair salon is probably not going to do you any good. But one of the ways that you can get backlinks would be blog commenting. Go in and find blogs about automotive stuff or auto detailing. Read up on some articles, post some comments, put a link back to your site. You know, that's one way to get backlinks. Some of your citations will actually give you backlinks. There's lots of ways to do it. But one of the things that we can do is we can go see where these guys have their backlinks coming from. And we can check the power of those links. And if it is a link that we like, we can try to get you a backlink on that same page. So I kind of call it the copycat method, you know, find what the other guys are doing, see which ones we like, and just go in and get ones on the same pages and help pull that power over to your site. So that's my basic overview, kind of a quick recap. You're looking about 1500 words on your homepage. Get those high volume search terms in there organically in the content on your page so that Google can find them. Citations. Go out and get in as many of those directories as you can. It is something you can do on your own. It just takes a lot of time to do it. you got to track down the directories, sign up for them. Most of them are going to send you an email. Open up the email, click the verification link so they know it's really you, and then go back in and enter all your information. So, like I said, it is something you can do. It just takes a lot of time. For your backlinks, your citations are going to help with that, but you can also do the blog commenting. Say you got a friend in town that's a mechanic. You know, you guys kind of have the same client base, but you don't do the same thing, so you don't compete with each other. You know, maybe talk to him, see if he can put a link to your site on his. You could put a link to your to his site from yours, you know, kind of share some business back and forth that way, help each other out. But that's kind of an overview for you. If you got any questions, feel free to reach out. My name is Nate with Wash Sensei. It's 833-946-2215. Thank you for your time.